It has been suggested that your Netflix documentary may be released as early as next month. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm very excited. That is, if excited meant terrified. Yeah, Liz Garbus, you know, the uh, filmmaker. And she was very much, you know, in charge, right? Oh, yeah. Nothing got past Liz. She controlled the whole, like, tone of the documentary. Hell-bent on pushing her own narratives. Yeah, so some of the stories, you know, may not be quite, you know, how we would have told them. You can't blame us. You know, nothing to do with us now. Basically. Yes, Megan, I heard about your crafty attempt to distance yourself from the documentary before it's even been released, leading many of us to assume it's going to be pretty scandalous. Yeah, we, know, we have to wait and see. You know, all, all I want to say is Liz Garbus, you know, and her team were running things. You know, Liz Garbus. Yeah, that's G-U-B-R-A-S. No, it isn't. Yeah, well, the important thing is that Liz did it. That's right. Yeah, but all in all, you know, it's one of those things that, you know, after a few months, everyone will be able to sit down and have a good laugh about. Uh, yes, yes, I'm sure. Yeah, I can really see that happening. Yes, well, we have a question here from a Lancelot Lombardi who loves rum in general but dislikes Bacardi, who asks you, Harry, why, when you were travelling to Pearl Harbor recently, did you have a spokesman confirm that you were there on a personal capacity? Well, because I was. You know, I was just there in a personal capacity. You know, showing my face and giving people hope by my presence. I can't say I really know what Lancelot's going on about. I happen to love Bacardi and Amaretto. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit lost. You know, I'm not quite sure where this is going. You know, it's all a bit confusing. You know, he was there in a personal capacity. Yeah, I was there in a personal capacity. A personal capacity? Yeah, just there in a personal capacity. Well, I think the point that Mr. Lombardi is trying to make is as opposed to what? I mean, what other capacity do you have left? Uh, uh, Because that's all you've got now, isn't it? Your, your personal capacity. I mean, in your attempt to become independent, you burn all of your bridges with the royal family. So now you're producing podcasts and documentaries, writing books, and uh, you know, rampaging around the world in a vain attempt to stay relevant. Well, if, if all else fails, I can just let go of everything and fully commit to my musical career. Go on then, Harry. I don't know why I love you, but I do. I don't know why I cry so, but I do. I only know I'm lonely and that I love you only. I don't know why I love you, but I do. Nevertheless, the important thing is, I was looking forward to signing documents so much, I even bought one of those stamps, those signature stamps saying has, you know, which is quite useful actually, because I don't always remember the exact spelling of has. Well, Harry, with your penchant for producing items during these interviews, I'm quite surprised you didn't bring the stamp with you. Well, I haven't got it anymore. Megan's got it. Yeah, too right I've got it. And you won't be having it back. What? Oh, that seems a little harsh, Megan. He stamped all over the walls. I can't sleep at night, I feel so restless. I don't know what to do, I feel so helpless. 
And since you've been away, I cry both night and day. I don't know why I love you, but I do.